Wednesday night at the Glass Bowl, the Toledo Rockets hosted the unbeaten Northern Illinois Huskies in some midweek action. The Rockets were looking to gain the upper hand in the MAC West division race with a win. Things did not start off well for Toledo, as quarterback Terrence Owens fumbled on the first play of the game. The Huskies jumped out to a 7-0 lead with a 19-yard touchdown run by James Spencer less than two minutes into the first quarter. After another Rockets turnover, the Huskies drove into the red zone, but kicker Matthew Sims shanked a 23-yard field goal. The ensuing drive for the Rockets was highlighted by this catch by Alonzo Russell and capped off by a 36-yard field goal from Jeremiah Detmer to put the score at 7-3 late in the first quarter. The Rockets had an opportunity to take the lead in the second quarter, but Kareem Hunt's jump pass was picked off by the Huskies' Boomer Mays in the end zone. NIU was unable to take advantage as Sims would miss another field goal from 40 yards out. Owens later hooked up with Russell for a touchdown with 51 seconds left in the second quarter to give the Rockets a 10-7 lead. The lead would stay that way into halftime after Sims missed from 47 yards out. The Rockets were able to keep Huskies quarterback Jordan Lynch in check in the first half, but Lynch finally found the end zone from 12 yards out to give the Huskies the early lead in the third quarter. Toledo would answer back after Owens found Bernard Reedy for a 36-yard touchdown with 8.34 left in the third to retake the lead 17-14. But Lynch and the Huskies quickly retook the lead as he would score on a 31-yard scamper with 6.15 left in the third quarter. The backbreaker for the Rockets was Lynch's third touchdown of the night with 9.42 left in the fourth quarter that capped off a 15-play 99-yard scoring drive. Spencer added another touchdown with 5.39 left to put the game out of reach as the Rockets fell by a final score of 35-17. to 17. At the end of the day, I wasn't vocal enough out there and I didn't bring enough energy out there in the second half, so I take that full responsibility. Pretty simply, they, they beat us. So my hat's off to them, and I, I am proud of our football team and our kids uh, for getting ourselves into that situation. But uh, we have to learn how to overcome the little details that it takes to be ultimately be a champion. So after a tough loss to Northern Illinois, the Rockets now shift their attention to play the Akron Zips a week from this Friday as they look to improve their bowl position in December. Reporting from the Glass Bowl, I'm Frank Fajner for UT10 News.